Hi guys, here we are back again working on a 65 Chevy frame. Now, for all practical purposes, this frame is shot. Alright? You should never be trying to do the kind of stuff that I'm doing to this frame to try to resurrect it. By all rights, this thing should be scrapped and you should get a new frame. Okay? Let's make that clear. Now, this is just considered this experimental work, if you will. Now, if you look over here, I have this one section marked out with the grease pencil. That's like paper thin. Because if you get yourself a little ball peen hammer, you see that ball peen hammer bouncing? That tells you that that metal is paper thin. It's acting almost like a drum head. Now there's one piece right here. That's not too bad. Now this piece here, I can actually see the holes in it where it's being eaten through. So I'm gonna get myself my, my cutoff wheel. I'm gonna cut off from here to here and then right on this ridge right here, going to cut off. That whole, this whole front section I'm going to take off. And then this section here I'm going to cut out too. This has been repaired a couple times ago, like maybe 30 years ago. All right. And uh, actually these 65 frames are known for being crap. I can't believe it rusted out like in a couple years. And they had to fix it back then, but that's what happened. So I'm going to cut this section out right here. And then the idea is to actually get a big piece of steel and weld it all the way in and all the way up here to get to some solid metal up here and solid metal over here. Then we'll weld it to the bottom and we'll try to get it to the sides too. That would be great. And then this piece here we're going to uh, recut out out of some really good stuff. Some, uh, you know, like 316 steel I believe, the thickness that we would use here to replace this. Now I'm just going to cut this here and here and take it off because I don't want to be working with too big of a piece. All right? And then after I get this piece off I can get a better inspection to actually see if this piece that I broke okay on here is really good or not. All right? And then we'll just take it one step at a time. The idea is to put our patch on the inside of the frame. The well it's on the inside of over here. Now, this thing was hit here too. I bet you that's what happened. They replaced this whole back section of this frame. Wow. They rotted out and then they replaced it. Then the one they replaced rotted out. What a nightmare. But, hey, this is how you learn, right? All right, so now I'm going to get busy here and cut this section off. My little. You can use one of these jobs here too. Yeah, there's no reason why you couldn't use something like this also. Except this makes a much deeper cut. Alright. Now also what I'm gonna use, see if I have it right here. Here we go. This is my little cutoff wheel that I'm gonna be using. Alright, these wheels are cheap. Uh, now, if the metal is still pretty thick, we're gonna have a hard time cutting it with this. But if it's paper thin, like I think it's going to be, you should just zip right through it. So it isn't like, you know, it's going to be a big project. It shouldn't be that big of a project. Although it's a big project. Okay. Yeah, you got me on that? All right. Now we're going to try a little bit cutting here. And we're going to see what happens. I'm not going to do this too long on tape. Because it'll just be burning tape for nothing. Make sure you wear hearing protection. You wear leather gloves. It's a lot dirtier than I thought. And I'm getting sparks all over. I'm going to have to put on long sleeve shirt and a mask. 
Sometimes my enthusiasm gets ahead of common sense. Now if you're doing it, you might as well do it right. Warm sleeves, leather gloves, mask, goggles. You should probably wear a hat too. Now this is the story, I'm cutting right on the weld. The weld is probably the strongest thing on this whole frame. So it's going to take me a little while to cut through that weld. But it's probably the best place to cut. And when we weld back on the next piece, we'll have something really solid to weld on. We wouldn't want it to be welding somewhere the weak part of the frame. You want to tie it into the most meat of the frame you could possibly get. Now this is uh, how far I got so far. About uh, 15 minutes has elapsed. I have a cut here, going all the way over here and down here. Now I just got to cut it around on the bottom. And this whole piece is going to just come right off and we can get in here. I'm almost positive that I'm going to have to cut the bottom of this thing out. Although, I don't know. I got to see it. That's like wishy washy there. We'll see. Well, here we are. Here's the piece that we cut off. It was double wall up behind right behind this piece here. That's why it was so hard to cut off. Yeah, I thought I was going through the weld. I'm going to have to clean this out here. 